Peace is to rain. I'm back again with another video. Today I'm going to do a video on the obelisk. This thing right here. Someone asked me to break it down, explain it because they were intrigued. So that's what I felt to do. The obelisk has been around for eons. And um, we have a lot around now. And um, in major cities, these things are actually like at the center of the city. And wherever these objects are, there's high traffic. So in New York, we have about three. And everywhere in New York where these things are, they there's a lot of people that just flow in and out. And then they have the big one in D.C. They have them all over the country, actually all over the world. Okay, now a lot of people do point out that, okay, these things were seen in ancient Egypt. Um, so what's the point of having a obelisk in a center point? Well, even back then, these were originally to be placed on center or potent ley lines, okay? And what they do is they draw in energy. That's why everywhere an obelisk is, there's high traffic, all right? So how does that work? Well, the earth is feminine energy, okay? So if anyone grounds or they store energy or they know anything about chi, when they ground, they are pulling in those electrons that have that negative charge. So that's feminine energy. The earth has ley line points where these charges are most potent all over the earth. So if you look at a map of ley lines, and I'll put that in a, um, in a link, you'll see that there's actually a map of ley lines all over the world and churches, synagogues, mosques, uh, these obelisks, you know, anywhere there's a lot of um, monk monasteries, these ley lines, um, they're most potent under these places. And it's actually a map of them. Okay. So these ley lines, again, like I said, contain that negative charge. Okay. So when you have a negative charge, that would be that feminine energy. So you can say that the earth is a woman in a sense, okay? Mother Earth, you know, it all makes sense. So you would need a positive charge, okay? This is not just a thing that's long. It's a pyramid, but it's elongated. It's actually a phallus. It's not that it's a phallus symbol. It's an actual phallus, okay? It's a geometrical phallus. So this would be a positive charge, okay? So the negative charge energy goes into this phallus structure, okay? And it goes up, okay? So negative, positive. So you have um, sex. You know, you got sex energy and sex magic all over again, all over again. And when you have an obelisk of phallus and then you got the negative charge from the earth, um, that manifestation energy is very potent and high in that area, within that city. And you can pull a lot of things off, off on a major scale. So that's why you see these uh, these um, obelisks um, are very large. Okay. So what am I doing here? Okay. So if people, if um, the elitists can do this, why can't you? That's the question. Yeah, you might not be able to make a big obelisk in your house, but you can buy something this small. Find the center point in your home, okay? Put the obelisk there. Put some energy around it. Put your energy into it. Boom. Put your energy into it. Quartz, quartz, quartz. And um, put it next to the obelisk, okay? You want to put candles? Cool, that's decoration. That's nothing. But... This is what it's all about. And that energy will go into this obvious, creating a vortex. That's the point. So um, just having these elongated pyramids in your home, 
um, will create a certain atmosphere, a certain energy. When people step in your home, they they won't know why it feels so good. You know, you will be able to be a, a very creative, and you'll be able to pull a lot of things off because you have that manifestation energy. You know, everything is energy. So yeah, I just wanted to do a video on that. Let me know your thoughts. If you got questions, inbox me or Facebook me.